Okay, so this is going to be a quick little introduction on how to kind of set yourself up and get started, well, just scripting in Daisy standalone. So the only thing that you're really going to need at the moment is simply the Daisy tools, and you're going to want to make sure you have launched and ran just Daisy the game at least once. So once you've done that, double click on tools, and you're going to want to launch the workbench. Then once that's open, go up to editors, script editor. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the normal editor, or workbench. And come over here to your, well, inside your Steam folder. Go to your DAISY folder. See a folder called missions. Open it up. Mission here. Now, this is what's going to pretty much be ran for this. When, well, you pretty much launch DAISY in offline mode. So, click play. Play DAISY offline. This is what's going to run. So as you can see here, if you remember from Arma 3, Arma 2, and so on, we had an init.sqf file that essentially would run whenever the mission was loaded. Well, think of the init.c as that. So since that's what we're going to be tinkering around with for now, we're going to go ahead and open that up in the script editor. So. And that's on the way down. So you can see, here's your main function. Here's what's going to run first. You can see, for example, here's where you get your basic stuff set. Get, well, that's where it selects randomly from the array. Here's where it sets your inventory. So as you can see, you'll spawn with a rag, random amount, well, actually four, sorry. Whatever that stands for, spawn with a hunting knife, Makarov, so on and so on. Now, just for example purposes, actually, let's go ahead and launch Daisy. Get to load. Hopefully, this doesn't take forever. I just gotta remember to crop it. Alright, so as you can see, pretty much everything that was in the little script we have spawned with. So let's say we want to change that. First off, we can simply go ahead and get rid of everything that you spawn with. That'll be lines 51 through 82. Just remove them. And that eh, just for example move these three lines, and I don't think this gets used anywhere else either. So now, file, save it, click restart. You will see when we spawn, really just shouldn't have anything aside from maybe your normal clothes. So as you can see, our inventory is completely open, weapon on our back. So you can kind of start to visualize how that works. So just for for now, we're going to go ahead and spawn ourselves. Well, we're going to put an M4 in our hands when we spawn. I'm going to show you how to do that, just the normal init. And we're going to go through and, well, just create a new, well, a new file and have everything that we want in there. So we're not hogging up our main file here. Well, our init file. So you can see our player is set up here. What we can do is just player dot get human inventory nine because I got it. Oh, now it starts to load. First off, entity AI weapon weapon equals player dot get human inventory. Don't know why the highlighting is not coming up. Dot create and Hands. Now we want the class name of the item we want to create in our hands. So for us, we're just going to do an M4. So M4A1 and file save. Now we'll hit restart. Spawn, we should, well, 
have an M4 in our hands. And if you want to tinker around, see here, we have an M4. And if you want to tinker around with the weapon, we have access to it right here. So you can add attachments that way, such as weapon dot get inventory dot create attachment or whatever. I don't know what the syntax well whatever you call it auto eh, I don't know. So that's how you create a basic well, just do something simple in the init. So if we want to let's say add a new folder here for our whatever scripts you want to add. We just do a normal new folder. We're just gonna call it scripts. We're gonna create a new dot c file. We're just gonna call ours yeah, we'll just do setup layer, I guess. I'm just gonna open notepad real quick and delete everything out of it. Alright, so now we can open that as well. In here. So what we can do is go to the very top. Do hashtag demo include. Now it's gonna be money sign current directory. Now we want to go to Pretty much the path. So our path is going to be from missions all the way to scripts, just like so. And then the name of our file, which is setup player.c. So you're going to want to go through, add an additional backslash to each one. Well, as to start of the mission. So this will pretty much, well, literally point right here to this file. So there, one thing we can do, we can simply, in our setup player, we can just have a simple function, void give player m4, for example. So if we want to call it, what we do is, Simply do give player m4. That would call this function right here and any of the code we put inside it. So since we're going to want to, yeah, find an m4 in our player's hands, we need to paste this line in here. But the problem being, see, it goes off of player. But player is, where is it, set up and created right here. So what we can do is simply pass player onto the function. So player, as you can see, it's a type player base. So in our pass, well, in our parameters for our function, we're going to do player base player. So now player has been passed to this function. We're going to use that pass parameter, which is us and we're going to add an M4 to the hands of it. So, there's a line, yep. File, save solution, and restart. As you can see, we have an M4 in our hands still. Now, with their new scripting language, as opposed to SQF, we pretty much given the ability to use classes. And if not something you're very familiar with, I really do recommend you learn, as it can be very, very useful for you. So, just for example, we're going to make a class to. I'll kind of wing it as I go along. Right, so essentially, we're going to make a class, call it, I guess, set up player default weapon. I guess that would, yeah, that'll work, for example. The class, set up player, make a little 
set up default player weapon. So inside this class, we can do what is called a constructor. So what a con oh, I'll just make it so you can visualize it. So think of this function that's inside this class here. This right here is a constructor. So anytime we make an object off of this class, this constructor is going to automatically run. So any code that is inside it will just simply, well, literally just going to run when an object is created. That's the only way I can would have really put it. So let's say we're going to make an object based off of this class, for example. Go ahead and get rid of this function. That was set, yes, yeah, set it up. up. Default, there it is, player weapon. We're just going to call it p object for player object equals new. Set up default player weapon. So for this example, we're going to do the exact same thing and give ourselves an M4. But the difference being, well, not really much of a difference, but inside this, just like before, we do need to make a, uh, oh, we do need to pass our player in. So player base, I'm just going to call it P in for player in. And we're going to make a variable for well, ourselves to use inside of this class. So, since it's only going to be used by the function, we're going to make it private. We're going to call it, well, player, base, player. So, we want to assign it, well, p in to player. All we need to do is this dot player equals p in. So, yeah, it's already done for us. So now, we're using, yeah, damn it this variable here to what I do to get ourselves an M4 that way. Now for the constructor. For more explanation on that, when we create the object, just simply this line here, it's going to run this code here automatically without us telling it to do anything. So let's just for example file save. Start. As you can see, here's our M4. So hopefully this is starting to kind of come together and make sense to you. And uh, just for example, I'll do one more. We're also going to do private entity AI weapon do this dot weapon equals so that's gonna our weapon's gonna equal this m4 let's say we want to add attachments we can do void add don't know what capital add weapon attachments we don't need to take in anything and I'm trying to remember what the commands are offhand but it's weapon dot get and oh now it starts showing dot create attach yeah create attachment so attachment we want to create is a string and it goes inside of here just like with our m4 eh, for example I'll find one I do have the page bookmarked that has all the class names this will be like the description for you as well so if you're at the start just go to Weapon firearms, find the weapon you want to use. In our case, it's M4, config.cpp. At this point, just search for stock. That's going to save a lot of time. <laughs> so, we want to look. Here's the base attachments array, which we want to look at. So, as you saw in game, we have no handguard, no rear sight, and no stock. So, well, we want to add all of these. That's going to be easy to copy and paste it. And then just copy, paste that line. Now, 
Now we file safe. Should have a complete rifle. Or not. Sorry, as I'm still kind of, like I said, I'm learning as I'm going. Move this dot. As well as we need to call this. So, add weapon attachments. Oh, just file save. And as you will see, we now have handguard, rear sight, and a stock. So there's other things that we can do. We're going to do one final thing. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a magazine to our inventory. I'd like to show you how to, it actually adds to our, well, inventory. So we're not going to create in our hands, for example. What we can do is void add magazine to player. Now, since we already have our player up here, player dot get inventory dot create an inventory, then the name of the magazine. Now, if you look back over here, and search mag, should come up with a list. We're just going to add a 30 rounder. Paste it in. Control S. And restart. And with any look, there should be a magazine sitting in our jacket pocket. I forgot to call it again. There it is. Drag her on. Oops. Ah. Well, as you can see, everything is working. So hopefully that'll be. This has been kind of scrambled. I can realize that. Oh, well, I realize that now. But hopefully this should kind of just get you a general idea until I'll allow you to kind of expand on it and learn from here. So, well, that's just how you get started.